Hi everyone. Let me explain the term GDPR compliant. The General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, is a legal framework that sets guidelines for the collection and processing of personal information of individuals who live in the European Union. General data protection regulation requirements prohibit companies from hiding behind illegible terms and conditions that are difficult to understand. Instead, GDPR compliance requires companies to clearly define their data privacy policies and make them easily accessible. The GDPR mandates that EU visitors be given a number of data disclosures. So today, in this video, we will see how we can create a cookie consent notice on your website and get compliant with GDPR and CCPA using the free version of the GDPR cookie consent plugin. My name is Nick, and I am on the team at WPGoPro.com. We assist you with improving your WordPress skills so you can make more money for yourself, your clients, and your business. If you haven't already, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, give the video a thumbs up so Google knows it was helpful to you. Let's get started with the video now. Search for GDPR in the WordPress plugin dashboard, and you'll see the first plugin listed. Install and activate the plugin now. Simply switch to your front end to see the cookie notice bar even without any configurations. You can access the GDPR cookie consent menu from the left side panel of your WordPress dashboard for additional customization and settings. The premium version of the plugin includes a plethora of options for managing and gathering user consent, such as an automated cookie scanner, autoblock scripts, GOIP-based functionalities, and many more. Click here for more information on the plugin's premium version. To get here, follow the link in the description. Let's take a look at what the basic version has to offer at this point. On the settings page, you can select the type of law required for your site as well as various options for customizing the look and feel of your cookie notice. As you can see, the cookie notice bar is activated by default on your site upon activation. The plugin gives you the option of becoming GDPR, CCPA, or both compliant. GDPR is enabled by default. That is why, on the front end, you see a notice bar with an accept button and a settings link. Now I'm selecting CCPA, and other CCPA-related settings will appear. Enabling the CCPA notice will display a banner with relevant text based on your settings. This option is particularly useful for obtaining prior consent from website visitors. Save the changes. When you switch to the front end view, you'll see the CCPA notice. When you click the link, you will have the option to cancel or opt out. By enabling both GDPR and CCPA compliance, the cookie notice will appear in this format on the front end. Right now, I am opening the site in incognito mode in order to better understand the way it looks. Alternatively, the premium version of the plugin includes inbuilt GOIP support to display cookie notices based on location, allowing GDPR regulation to be limited to only European countries and CCPA regulation to be limited to only California. Following that, there is an auto-hide option, which allows you to accept the user's implicit consent on delay or scroll. However, because GDPR requires explicit consent, it is turned off by default. The other section determines whether the site must be reloaded when scrolling or accepting or rejecting consent. Enable the option if you want the site to reload upon user consent. The Customize Cookie bar tab contains all of the customization options. You can enter a message header for the notice in the provided field, or leave it blank if you don't need one. The cookie notice's content is entered into the message box. You will be provided with default content. I'll stick to the GDPR for a better understanding. You can change or edit the content, and it will be reflected in the cookie notice bar. The settings link and the accept button are denoted by short codes within the message box. You can even add more short codes if necessary. You will learn more about the short codes in the help guide. Following that, you can change the color of the cookie bar, text color, and even the font style of the cookie notice. Although the cookie notice is displayed as a banner by default, you can change it to a pop-up or even a widget. With the banner type, you have the option of placing the notice in the header or the footer. The notice bar in the header will look like this on the front end. 
When you assign it as a pop-up, you have the option of adding an overlay that prevents the user from browsing the site. Let's take a look at how it'll look. In this case, a pop-up notice with an overlay will be displayed. Similarly, you can move the widget to the left or right. This is how it will look on your website. By selecting the appropriate option, you can make the cookie notice animator remain sticky on load or hide. Save the changes by updating the settings. The Revisit Consent tab allows the user to return to the message bar and change their consent. Use either left or right to position the Revisit Consent tab. Then, enter a value in either pixel or percentage to specify the distance from the respective margin to place the dialog accordingly. The Text on the Widget field allows you to customize the text on this Revisit Consent tab. Update the settings. The Revisit Consent tab appears in place of the cookie bar upon the user's acceptance or rejection of action. The buttons and links appearing on the cookie notice bar can be customized further using the Customize button tab. The shortcodes corresponding to each button or link can also be seen against each item. You can use these shortcodes anywhere within the plugin. First in the list is the Accept All button, then the other buttons are Accept, Reject, Settings, and Read More. You can change the text's color and show it as a button with a customized color or as a link. It can also be customized to either simply close the cookie bar or follow a link upon choosing the URL key and the link to which it has to be redirected, as well as the URL to be opened in a new window. Also, choose a suitable button size from the drop-down menu. The accept button works the same way, but it's got its own unique short code. Then comes the reject button again, with its short code near to it. Here also, you can see similar options as seen earlier for the accept button. Then come the settings. There are options to modify its text color, show it as a button or link, etc. By default, the settings are shown as a link. Read more is a link that redirects you to the privacy and cookie policy page from the notice bar. Click here to be redirected to the cookie policy page. Here you can edit all the cookie policies, which we will get to later in this video. Other than text, text color, show as, a button or link, there is the option to redirect to either a URL or page. In either option, you can specify the URL or corresponding page to which it has to be redirected. You can choose to hide the cookie bar from the redirected page or URL and also open the redirected page or link in a new window. Let me check how we have set up the cookie bar right now. Okay, it's there as a banner in the footer of our website. So let's see how the website looks now. The default banner doesn't have the read more link in it. So let's copy the short code from here and insert it in the message box of the cookie notice. Okay, I am going to paste it inside the message here and then update the settings. You can see the read more link on the cookie bar. Click here to be redirected to the Privacy Policy page. Of course, in this case, it redirects to our home page because there is no policy page created yet, but you get the idea. So far, we have seen all the buttons or links pertaining to the GDPR cookie notice. The next one, the Do Not Sell link, is the one pertaining to CCPA. The Do Not Sell link also has its corresponding shortcode given. You can alter or modify the CCA text here. Show it as a link or as a checkbox. Its color can also be changed. Let's make it a checkbox and see what it looks like on the site. As expected, it shows a checkbox and the user must tick the box. From the Advanced tab, you can reset and delete all your current settings and revert to the default settings. Sometimes themes apply settings that may clash with the plugin. If that happens, you can resolve it by resetting it to the default settings. The Help Guide tab consists of lists of shortcodes and links to documentation and support. The shortcodes can be entered in the message field of the Cookie Law Info Bar. They add nicely formatted buttons and or links to the cookie bar without you having to add any HTML. The cookie list is where all the cookies on your site will be displayed. You can manually add new cookies by specifying a title, cookie ID type, duration, and sensitivity. Let's go back to the cookies list and open up one of the sample cookies.
Here I have created a certain sample cookie with a title and other required properties. The cookie scanner is an automated mechanism that automatically scans the cookies and adds them to the plugin. The cookies thus identified can be added to your existing website cookie list or downloaded as a CSV. You must create a free account to activate the cookie scanner. You can easily create and generate the cookie policy from the policy generator module. The policy generator will help you create a separate page for the cookie policy which will list out various details like the cookie policy. What are cookies? How do we use cookies? What types of cookies do we use? How can I control the cookie preferences and so on? You can even add additional details by using the add new button. Get a live preview of the cookie policy here. Subsequently, a new cookie policy page can be created or an existing page can be updated. In the script blocker section, there is a list of plugins currently supported for auto blocking. Plugins marked inactive are either not installed or activated on your website. Enabled plugins will be blocked by default on the front end of your website prior to obtaining user consent and rendered accordingly based on that user's consent. The plugin comes with dynamic default categories, including necessary, functional, analytics, performance, advertisement, and others. Necessary cookies will be added to the necessary category. Users cannot disable cookies under the necessary category. As a result, cookies that are required for the website to function should be added to this category. Therefore, the necessary category includes cookies that are essential for the functioning of the website. The plugin also allows you to create custom categories and edit existing ones. You can create your own cookie categories like the existing ones based on the nature of the cookies and have granular control over them. Although the plugin supports automatic cookie scanning and categorization, you also have the option to manually assign cookies to categories. You can do so by navigating to the cookie list page of the plugin. Now let's go back to the cookie categories. Click here to edit one of the existing categories, for example, the analytics category. Two important things to point out. First you can have all cookies enabled or disabled, and then get the user's consent to approve them. Second, the plugin provides you with the option to write your script either in the header or in the body, which is very convenient according to the cookie's goal. The plugin provides you with an auto-filled privacy overview, which will be displayed within the cookie settings pop-up window. You can modify or edit it as per your needs. If you want to have a nicely formatted cookie list within the pop-up, you can simply copy the short code and paste it within the privacy overview page and then save the settings. Let's see how it appears. You have a nicely styled cookie notice bar on your website to get the user's consent. Now that all the settings are done, you are good to go. I hope you found this video useful as I showed you how we can create a cookie consent notice on your website and get compliant with GDPR and CCPA using the free version of the GDPR cookie consent plugin. So, this tutorial is now complete. If you want to download the GDPR cookie consent plugin, the link is in the description below. If you liked this video and you don't want to miss my weekly videos related to WordPress and business online, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave your comments below. My name is Nick, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have fun with it till next time, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and health.